Okay, so um, we have this exponentially decaying solution in region two, that is where x is less than zero. And again, it's exponentially decaying because in this region, again, x is less than zero, so there's a negative sign. Alpha is positive, and so we have um, a solution which decays as you get further away, further into the classically forbidden region, that is further away from the wall, uh, to larger and larger values of negative x, okay? In region three, this is where x is greater than L. Again, you're outside of the, the box, and so you're further and further into the classical, the region of the classically forbidden region. Um, and so you, we get, we're gonna get similar solutions as in region two, okay? So we're gonna get psi of x is equal to some constant times e to the plus x, plus alpha x, plus some other constant times e to the minus alpha x. And again, for the same, in the same logic here, with x getting uh, bigger and bigger, uh, now we're, now we're in regions of positive x, so as x gets larger, we can't have a, solu a solution which diverges, and so basically we have to make e equals zero. Okay, here we made d equals zero, and, uh, and so we're left with, an exponent again, an exponentially decaying solution, f uh, e to the minus alpha x. Now, I could write any letters for these constants. At this point, they're just they're just undetermined constants which needs to be solved which need to be solved for by basically uh, the continuity conditions that the wave function and its derivative has to be continuous at the boundary regions okay and that's what we're going to do now so the the general solution excuse me the general solution to the finite square well is equal to uh, in when x is less than zero so going from left to right when x is less than zero we have this constant c, this integration constant c, times e to the plus alpha x. Again, this is an exponentially decaying solution um, as you go to larger and larger values of negative x, okay? Uh, in, the, uh, in the region between, in, in, within the box, you have this oscillatory solution, a sine kx plus b cosine kx, and outside the box to the right, again, for x is greater than l, then you have again, a constant times e to the minus alpha x, again, an exponentially decaying solution, okay? And again, where we've defined alpha squared and k squared um, as over here. Okay, so that's the generic form of the solution, but in order to actually uh, solve for uh, these constants, and we have four of them, a, b, c, and f, then we have to use the continuity equations, okay? Um, and so we basically have, uh, we have to, we know that the wave function has to be continuous at these boundaries, and so we have two boundaries, and that gives us two equations. But in this case, because the potential is not, e is not infinite at the boundaries, then we also need the derivative of the wave function, so its slope, to also be, uh, to also be continuous at x equals zero and l, and this gives us another two equations, okay? So we have four equations, and we have four unknowns, okay, one, two, three, four, and four equations, and that will allow us in principle to solve for a, b, c, and f, and and actually that will give us, as uh, we'll see in just a second, uh, the conditions which lead to quantization of the energy. Okay, so let's let's look at the solution, let's look at the boundary conditions at x equals zero, okay, at the left hand side of the box. There we have that the and I'm basically using this notation, sub L means left and sub R means right. So that means the, the wave function on the left and the right hand side of that particular boundary. So the boundary is at x equals zero. And so we have x, the, the, left side of the, the left side of the wave function has to equal to the right side of the wave function. Okay, that's the continuity equation for psi. And so we have C e to the plus alpha x, that's the left side, C e to the plus alpha zero, okay, where now we're plugging in for x equals zero, has to equal to a sine k zero plus b cosine k zero, okay? And e to the zero is just equal to one, sine of zero is equal to zero, and cosine of zero is equal to one. And so in the end, what we get is that <clears throat> um, this term goes away, this is one, this is one, so we're left with the, with the condition that c is equal to b. Okay, similarly, we can do the, we can take the derivative of the, at the left and right hand side, and it gives us another equation, alpha c is equal to ka, 